guys, welcome to another exciting tutorial. This is Epi Beans, and in today's video, I'm going to show how you can make some pretty cool looking backgrounds inside of Photoshop just using some simple method, just as your paint tool and some crazy kind of shapes. Anyway, so let's get into it. So, the first thing which I want to do is just to uh, fill up my background with uh, my colors. So, I'm going to go with the purple color here and uh, fill it up, and I'll come to my paint tool and I'll come to my settings here and change it to shape. Then I'm just going to draw a triangle here um, and uh, just put it up to here like this. And I'm going to double click here on my layer and just bring up this color picker and just make it uh, a dark kind of shade of paper and say OK. I'm going to remove my stroke, just come here and remove it. Then the next thing I'm going to create another one, so I'll just create the background here so that I should be able to make another shape. So I'll come again here and make an inner triangle shape. So I'll just put it up to here so and put it like this. Then I'll just drag it on top of the other layer and I'll double click again and just maybe pick this guy so at least I can get it straight and just make it more darker and say okay. Alright, so I will just do the same, just remove the stroke also as well. And as you can see, we have somehow made and manipulated the 3D illusion, you know. So, and that's how 3D works. 3D works with light. So, we have made that variation. So, the next thing which I just want to do maybe is just to create some shadow so it looks as if it's sitting on uh, the background here. So, the thing which I'm going to do is just make a new sh uh, layer. And I'm just going to go to my brush and uh, just select the soft brush and I'll just change the angle for my brush and just put it maybe somewhere like this um, let's see I think this is good and I'll say okay uh, oh sorry 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 I've made a mistake I was supposed to switch my color to black here so I'll just bring it to black uh, or better still you can just click and just turn it to black and I'll come to okay since I've already selected I'll just go through again the process I made a mistake I don't know what's going on right now today anyway so just switch it up to this and make it come to this angle maybe yeah I think it's a perfect angle then just try to expand it and just draw and I'll just try to move it a bit so that uh, it's inside yeah, but then you can go out about it if one can make your uh, shadows more interesting. So, but this for the sake of the tutorial and time, I'll just keep it like this. I'll make another layer just to create some uh, light on it. I will come to my brush tool, then I'll just click my options and just reduce the size, and I'll just reset my brush from the angle to just a normal brush. And I think I'll just put it maybe somewhere here. Maybe. Um, this is good. And I'll just come to my color picker here and just get this paper and say OK. And I'll just draw here, then come to my branding uh, options here and just choose linear art dodge and come to my move tool, then just try to enlarge so I just the light looks. So you can position the light wherever you want. Maybe it's here and uh, depending on how you're feeling but I think I'll just leave it here so this is how you create your backgrounds interesting inside of Photoshop just using some simple techniques you know so we just use the paint tool and we created this thing so if you feel like you want to go out you can go out you can even try to put some textures on it and see so feel free this has been a bit Benson I hope you have enjoyed yourself see you in the next tutorial bye yeah.